Hey, good morning. It's early here, and uh, I was up late last night with a bunch of gamers from Austin, Texas. War gamers, I found you. It was really cool hanging out with you guys. Appreciate it. So, tonight, tonight, this morning, yeah, Paris is burning. Uh, let's have a look at it. You don't need to see my ugly mug. Usual high quality box. Looks like the postman did a little bit of a ding on me, but that's all right. Now, uh, let's start at the end, or the beginning, with the rules. Rules of play. Thing that blew me away about all this, I opened it up and I was thinking, wow, okay, that's not too many rules. I was wrong. There's almost no rules. There's one page of rules. One column here. This is uh, designer notes on, on this side. One column here, one column here, you're done. What you need to know is in other editions. The rules for blood and bridges you can use or the untold stories, you can use those rules. Uh, so this is gonna be a great expansion, real simple, and the rules are cool. We've got uh, fun stuff. A little bit of an innovation on the mechanics where some scenarios will give you either a move or a fire activation and that uh, provide some interesting choices and balance and a little bit more of the unknown as to what's going on in, in a battle. Uh, rubble and craters are obviously going to give you some uh, impact on movement and impact on uh, defensive roles, uh, defensive uh, uh, modifiers and things like that, good stuff. So what else is in here? We've got this concept of heroes. If you are a fan of the book that Mark Walker wrote, Revelations, then you're going to enjoy this aspect of the game uh, even more. It's going to make it more relevant to you. Very cool stuff. You uh, very minimal impact on the game though. So that's that's the neat thing. He's still he's weaving in uh, probably the genesis of the series. I'm guessing was his book perhaps, but uh, he's weaving in his characters from the book without taking away from the brand or the franchise of World of War. So it's really well done. You all know that Revelations is a military uh, story first, not a sci-fi, not a sci-fi story or not a, a, a supernatural story. It's a military thriller, action thriller is what I would call it. And it does happen to have uh, exploration of uh, the manifestation of evil and things like that. So anyway, that doesn't take away from this. It doesn't, uh, it adds color to this and it certainly doesn't include any uh, <laughs> any platoons of werewolf tanks or anything like that. None of that sort of uh, silliness, all right? The specialty infantry units that are slightly larger have some modifications to the number of steps they, of damage they can take and their firepower capabilities. <coughs> Got the Spetsnaz who uh, have special capabilities as well. Very difficult to spot, hard to kill. And the Sniper, yeah. That is interesting. So I, I'm not going to spoil the fun of the sniper and what it, what it can do, but suffice to say that uh, it, it's going to make life complicated for you as the US player if a sniper ends up on the board. Uh, once again, it's a nice piece of chrome. It's not something that's going to ruin the game uh, for, the, for the purists. And of course, uh, one of the other things that's in here that's not specifically uh, listed uh, in the rules uh, you get to kill a politician, and that's always nice to do, I think. Now, scenarios. There are eight scenarios, and they're classic uh, 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 descriptions from Mark Walker that really give you that time and date stamped feel, snapshot for what's going on, and a little bit about the guys who are involved, and it really gets you juiced up. It carries the storyline uh, great, and uh, then it also adds a nice little uh, the aftermath. I'm not going to spoil it for you. I'm not going to let you read what actually happens. But there's the aftermath. And man, it's gripping. I can't wait to, for, for Mark to actually write another book so we can read about that. So that's the box and all that sort of good stuff. So here's the pieces. Once again, classic lock and load publishing. I'll let you look at those. Very good quality. <coughs> here's Mitterrand. I guess he must be a politician, huh? One of those French guys. So counters are clear, nice, and uh, the right just a good thickness, and 
if they're like the others, they're going to punch out, uh, punch out just fine. Not a lot of nibs and nubs, so they're all going to come out just great. We've got French units, British units. Obviously, uh, Team Dahl is in here. Team Dahl is uh, one of the things you'll you'll read about in Revelations if you ever read it. And you've got your good old Soviet guys, and we've got civilians and other things. Now, here's a little look at a couple of the maps. This is the one of the cool uh, cool ones here. You can see the, uh, the tower, all right? Where are we? Right here. And then the Arc de Triomphe here. And it uh, tries to give you a feel for the cityscape. It is not meant to be a tourist map, as Mark says, and nor I would not use this uh, loaded into your GPS to try and get anywhere. It gives you the feel of uh, the urban density. And then there's, just, there's another map here as well that uh, has typical terrain. Is there some problem with me holding these things upside down this morning? It was a late night. You, you Austin, Austin Wargaming guys are, uh, were playing hard last night. So another interesting map, lots of good uh, terrain features on that one and uh, very good quality stuff. I like this cardstock. So that's a quick look at it. I can tell you now, the scenarios link together really nicely. Lots of fun. I'm excited about getting this bad boy on the, on the desktop. I'm also excited about uh, being able to do some creative writing and narrative around the stories. So, yeah. so you'll get yourself because it's going to be good stuff. And uh, Paris is burning. Part of the World of War series. I've now got all these guys. Love them.